you know, hockey has been good to many people in history, uh, especially the Harris family. The second Billy Harris was a top flight skater for the New York Islanders for a number of years, a good NHL pro. But the original Billy Harris uh, created so many inroads in hockey on a national and international level. It can only be stated that when he passed away in Toronto in 2001, is was one of the biggest losses in history, only age of 66. But uh, a cerebral player, a cerebral coach, uh, an all-around hockey genius for a lot of people. And again, uh, when you think Toronto hockey, you think of this guy. Now, William Edward Harris, born July 29, 1935 in Toronto played the NHL from 1955 to 1969. Now, he first came to major prominence, of course, for the Toronto Marlies of the OHA. Now, over four seasons, he was one of the best players in the association, especially in the 55 campaign, where he had 66 points in 47 games, including 37 goals. Now, his original season with Toronto was in 56. He played in the playoffs that year, uh, had uh, uh, 22 points in the regular season, and scored one goal in the playoffs. Now, 57 with some seasoning in Rochester, he found himself back with Toronto as with 10 points in 23 games. Now, 58 on a very improving uh, Toronto squad, he had 44 points in 68 games. But he really shone in the 59 playoffs, got him to, all the way to the finals with 52 points in 70 games, 7 points in 12 playoff contests. Unfortunately, he lost to, uh, to Montreal in the finals. Again, 1960. Uh, a second appearance for Toronto in the finals, back-to-back, -back, 38 points in 70 games, including 13 goals. Now, where he really, really stood out for a lot of people, you know, Toronto was going to come on in the 1960s after getting so close in the late 50s, and uh, he helped Toronto win three straight cups between 62 and 64 as sort of a defensive specialist. Uh, over those seasons, he had 15, 8, and 6 goals in a regular season, only three goals in the playoffs, but what he meant to the team was much much more than, than points and assists. He was a role model uh, in the dressing room. He was a leader on the ice, uh, you know, motivated <coughs> many players that were coming up. And he was uh, 10 years with Toronto until one of the most interesting trades in NHL history occurred. He, along with Andy Backat and Gary Jarrett, were traded uh, to... Uh, for Larry Jeffrey, Eddie Joel, Lowell McDonald, Marcel Parvo, and Odd Erickson on May 20th, 1965. Now, he didn't really fit in Detroit, and after playing 24 games for them in 66, he was sent down to the Red Wings AHL affiliate, the Pittsburgh Hornets. Now, he eventually spent the full uh, 67 season with uh, the Hornets. He led the team with 34 goals and helped them to a Calder Cup championship. So, again, at the pinnacle of the Stanley Cup, and eventually became an AHL champ in the second part of his career. Now, the following year when the NHL expanded from 16 to 12, on June 6, Harris found himself uh, back in the NHL with the Oakland Seals in the expansion draft. Now, his first season with the Seals, he put up decent numbers, 12 goals and 17 assists for 29 points. Now, in 69, he found himself with the other expansion team, that a lot of people thought he was going to play with, of all people, the Pittsburgh Penguins, sort of at homecoming, and uh, that year in 69, with a combined 73 games, he had uh, 24 points, including 7 goals. Now, here's where it gets uh, kind of tricky. We always wonder he's going to uh, coaching after, after hockey, and he prepped for this in the 1970 season when he played with the Canadian national team as part of one of the last franchises uh, excuse me, Team Canada franchise to be around before we started boycotting because our pros were not allowed to play. Now, from there he decided to head to Europe to become, of all things, the head coach of the Swedish national ice hockey team in 71-72. Now, decided to come back to Canada to join the WHA, not as a player, but as a coach. He was the first uh, and the most popular, I think, head coach in Ottawa Nationals history with a 35-39-4 record for the squad, helped him get in the playoffs that year. 74, where a lot of people expected he was going to do, he jumped to the Toronto Toros as his head coach, and he lost in the semifinal round after a great uh, regular season of playoff campaign. He won 41 games and 78 starts in the regular season. Now, 
with Summit 74 coming up. He put his name in a hat, and he coached Team Canada in the 74 Summit Series against the Soviet Union. Now, a lot of people felt that the success of Canada, although the only one one game in the series, tied three, was due to Harris and his understanding of the European system that, of course, the Russians were uh, very adept at. Uh, and we have to understand in Canada, there were one, two, and one. It was just in Russia that uh, yeah, the Russians basically dominated. But in Canada, on our rinks, he coached uh, Team Canada to uh, some three very successful games out of, out of four, except, of course, that eight, five games in uh, Winnipeg. Now, after coaching uh, Team Canada, he found himself back with uh, the NHL as an assistant coach under Glenn Sater for two seasons in the beginning in 1982. Now, we also call a coach junior for a little while with the Hamilton Red Wings of the OHN 71 and the Sudbury Wolves in 83 and 84. And uh, uh, with Sudbury, of course, helped develop a lot of the top players, uh, top players ever played with uh, Sudbury. Now, overall awards and achievements, Stanley Cup champion Toronto 62 to 64, AHL champion and 68. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. He also played with a Western Dukes of the B10 Junior B League, one of the best uh, Junior B associations uh, in Central Ontario, uh, and uh, that has to be recognized. But again, uh, those five seasons with the, uh, the Marlboros on and off showed a lot of people that he, he was a top flight player. And the 55 Memorial Cup playoffs for him were very important, 11 points in 11 games. Now, final NHL totals again, 100, 126 goals in 769 games, 345 points, and a big uh, 18 points in 62 playoff games. But again, what a what a career, ladies and gentlemen. Almost a half dozen uh, Stanley Cup finals over uh, you know successive years, and pretty pretty much again the one of the defensive stalwarts of the Maple Leafs of the what I call the Davy Keon era. Uh, if you would have stayed around, I think, in, in the 67. But for some reason, like I said, Toronto turned against him a little bit. You know, with that uh, 65 season where he only had one goal in 48 games. You know, the writing was on a wall because he was losing his uh, offensive touch. Got it back in Pittsburgh, of course. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here with our vintage podcast, let us know. Give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And um, uh, Billy Harris... You know, he did, did many interviews over the years. You can find him on, on YouTube, especially with the, the Ontario uh, television uh, channels. If you talk to Billy Harris for 10 minutes, uh, what he could teach you about hockey, you would never forget. Uh, uh, some of my media colleagues said he would basically explain exactly why he went to Sweden and why he played with Team Canada and applied that to his coaching the WHA. Because, you know, the WHA was kind of a European league in a way. Even though it was a lot of fighting, the open style of the WHA, what he called the exciting uh, modern style of European hockey meeting North American hockey, he was a big part of that. And without Billy Harris being a coach at that level, he brought so much to the coaching regiment in Canada. But the problem is, uh, you know, he died so young, 66 is just, you know, I'm 55, 66 is nothing. If he would have lived a few more years, obviously, with uh, the new teams coming in the NHL, he would have really, really worked to benefit them. Just like Lou Lamarello, John Davidson, uh, you know, Jim Rutherford, you know, great minds like that. Successful players and go on to a coaching career that's highly, highly respected. So that's a legend of the original Billy Harris. If you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And requests and comments are always welcome and appreciated. Have a good day. Bye.